create and execute Windows command files. Yes, no, input function. This function, get underscore yes, no, prompts the user for a yes or no answer. The function will be used in the file management program that will be described in a later video. This video describes the function, does a code walkthrough, and demonstrates the function. This video is short because much of the code has already been described in the earlier input function videos. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. As in the other videos, I'll describe the function by starting with the test driver for it. It's the same basically as the other input functions. Uh, the function call has four parameters in it. I have put in a value here for show default. I've added the show default parameter to the function to let the user say whether or not he wants the default to be shown in the prompt. And I will go over the changes both to the test program and to the function itself to add a new parameter like that. You might want to put that change in the other functions if you're using those. The functions are, again, the prompt, like all the others have, the default. I've added the function show default, defaulted it to yes, to show the default value. Here's where I set the parameter defaults in the calling program, the test program in this case. Down here is the call itself, and again, I've added the show default here. I've added it, a space for it here. You could either have it say show default here to use this yes value or you could incorporate it in the the call itself as as we do in all the other functions and I have made a slight change here since there's only two possibility inputs for the yes no or yes or no I've taken out the thing that says if you did enter the default value loop it otherwise stop because I want to be able to test it a few times and uh, so I've taken that out and I just loop. I put in a go to. So this just loops until I close the window. And I'll demonstrate uh, various uh, combinations of, of the uh, settings. First we'll do a code walkthrough of the function itself. Very similar code to all the other input functions. I've made very few changes. As I said, I've added this fourth parameter here, show default. It won't be the fourth in the other input functions if you decide to add it. Keep that in mind, please. I, I set the default value in the program to yes. I set the input value to the fourth parameter from the call statement. I set the working copy of the default parameter to the default value, which we set right up here. So if the user doesn't specify it in his call, it will default to yes. I added a call to check no entry to determine how the user has specified that parameter and whether he's overridden the program default for the parameter. Again, it's parameter 4, so be sure you get the, get the parameter number right. Change is to the prompt command, and I look at the working copy of the show default, and I say if it's yes, I show the prompt command with the default displayed in parentheses. If he specified he didn't want to show the default, I just do the same thing, but I've removed the part about the default. I did add this additional check down here for this function because I want the user to only be able to enter either the letter Y or N or the word yes or no. So that just goes through the possible values for the input entry from the user and verifies that they're it's either the default value, and the default does not have to be yes or no. Remember, we, we allow that in case the program wants to determine, well, the user really didn't answer the question. So if he types in the default value, and it's not set to yes or no, you could use that in your program to take action. So anyway, if he has entered either yes or no, or the default, for this says, I don't care whether it's capitalized or not, the slash i. 
So it goes down if the if his answer was y or yes, I set the output answer to yes. So you would use that value in your program. It would always come out either yes or no. It would never come out y or n even if the user had entered it that way. And again, if he'd entered a bad value, anything other than a Y or an N or a yes or a no, it would come down here and give this message. That's pretty much it. All the other codes are the same. The check no entry function is exactly the same. Here's the demo of the get yes no function. And in setting up the demo, I discovered a uh, slight bug that needs to be changed. Routine check no entry uses the value nothing as a flag word. That conflicts if you want to set nothing as the default here in the test program. So I would suggest you put three X's on the end of two places in check no entry. Change nothing to nothing XXX. That way it won't conflict if later the uh, caller decides to put nothing here for the default. So here's a demonstration. I've set the default to none and I'm using all the defaults from the set instructions so it shows the default because show def is set to yes. If I press return, it, sure enough it returns none. I do still have some debug print in the program. You probably want to re remove that when you actually start using it. So let's do a Y. It says I return yes. Let's do an N. Let's do a yes. Let's misspell it. Error value. And let's change some of the parameters in the uh, call. Let's first turn the uh, show default off by putting it here. Now when you execute it does not show the default and we can change the default to nothing as a check to make sure it works properly now with the change I made to check no entry. Let's turn the uh, show default back on so we can see it. Now it shows the default. Let's see if it actually works though. Yes, it returned nothing. The word nothing. That's pretty much it. We've demonstrated before how to change all the parameters around. My prompt character again is this greater than and the question mark was part of the defined value for the prompt right here. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.